billionaire all-in Tesla stock investor Cogman Leo is calling for a new CEO for Tesla. He says that he believes someone more like Tim Cook, who runs Apple, would be much better suited to run Tesla. He specifically says Tesla matters. Elon, he's merely just hired hands. He's our employee. Tesla is 19 years old, ranked number four, with 2.4% allocation in S&P, not a baby, and soon to be the biggest company. Elon was the proud father. Tesla has grown up an executioner. Tim Cook-like is needed, not Elon. As you can see here, Leo's net worth is going down together with Tesla stock. It was over $5 billion not a long while ago, just feels like weeks ago. And also, it's not just Leo who is calling for a new CEO for Tesla. There are others as well. But before we get into that, there is some good news as well. Leo says if a board of directors orders a buyback in any amount, Leo will also join the board to amplify the impact of reducing the free-floating shares. So, we you know, the buyback would be greatly amplified. Leo owns billions of dollars worth of Tesla stock. Leo also retweeted this tweet from Ross Gerber, who is a billion dollar fund manager. Ross is saying, I will need all of your support to do this. I will devote a good part of my life to Tesla if I am added to the board of directors. If we all don't come together, we will not win this activist campaign. It's time for a change for Tesla. And Leo is supporting Ross, obviously, here uh, for Ross to become a member of the board of directors. Billionaire Leo also retweeted this tweet. Tesla's a great company, abandoned by its leaders, shareholders, and investors deserve steadfast, apolitical leadership. It is time for Elon Musk to either commit to Tesla or step down as its CEO. I personally, I would love Elon to focus just on Tesla, but that is not going to happen. That tweet had a link to this article. After $700 billion a race in the market cap. Angry Tesla investors say Elon Musk has abandoned them. Elon abandoned Tesla and Tesla has no working CEO. Leo Cogman wrote Wednesday on Twitter, Tesla needs and deserves to have working full-time CEO. I would be quick to say, be careful what you wish for. Take a look at this. You know what this is? This is Amazon stock. Did you know that Amazon had a new CEO? Or actually, let me clarify that. Can you guess exactly when Amazon got a new CEO? The red line, that's earnings. And this is the stock price. Can you guess when? Just take a guess. 2021, middle of 2021. So around this level right here. Now, is it just a coincidence that the stock price started going down like a lot? Roughly at the same time when Jeff Bezos stepped down, Jeff Bezos founded Amazon and was its CEO for this whole time. Amazon is down about 52% since Jeff Bezos, roughly, well, from the all-time highs. Perhaps, just perhaps, the stock would have done better if Jeff Bezos remained as the CEO, even if he didn't spend as much time, but if he actually still remained as CEO. Also, remember that Steve Jobs was ousted. And let's see, how, how did Apple do? In 1997, Jobs returned to Apple as CEO after 
Apple's acquisition of Next. Next was founded by Steve Jobs. So Apple got its original CEO back. Apple at that time was on the verge of bankruptcy. Steve Jobs exactly on September 16th of 1985 left Apple and the stock price did very well for quite a long time. And then things went seriously downhill. This is when Apple was on the verge of bankruptcy and Steve Jobs was hired again. And what happened to the stock price then? Ooh, that was a dot-com crash. But nonetheless, it kept going up and up and up and up to crazy new highs. So... Do we really want to remove Elon Musk? If you look at history, I guess short term, looking at Apple, it helped. But long term, it put the company on the verge of bankruptcy eventually. And then Steve Jobs was brought back eventually, which then revived the company. Currently, I'm not so convinced that Tesla is where Apple was when Steve Jobs handed the CEO position to Tim Cook, which Tim Cook, admittedly, he has done a tremendous job with the stock price of Apple. But can anyone really drive full self-driving project better than Elon Musk? I'm not concerned at all with the EV side of the business. That, I think a good number two will be able to scale and handle just fine. But full self-driving I don't know I I want Elon behind a project like that anything that has not been done before I want Elon Musk thinks that we have clearly figured out for the most part already someone like Tim Cook would do a great phenomenal job but most importantly I believe Tesla is what it is because it has the world's best engineers. And that is one big reason why Tesla will be the first one to solve also driving. That's my personal belief. And here are the top companies where top engineers want to work. You see, I think if you figure out where the top engineers go, you can figure out who is going to solve full self driving. Every year, consistently, SpaceX or Tesla, they change places with each other are number one and number two. SpaceX this year was 20, had 24, almost 25% of engineering students who said, SpaceX is the place that is my ideal employer. And Tesla came in as number two at almost 22% of students wanting to work at Tesla. So these two companies, what do they have in common? Same industry? No. Elon Musk, we have Elon Musk in common, obviously. So big question here, what do you think is going to happen when you remove Elon Musk from that equation? It is likely to become a company like one of the other big tech companies, Apple or Google or even worse, Microsoft or worst case, GM. It wouldn't happen immediately, definitely not. But I want to hold Tesla stock for a long time. So doing something short term, I don't like that. What's that number one rule that has to do with Elon Musk? Don't bet against Elon is that number one rule. When you look at this, you see their earning projections in red. They are going up. If you show me a chart, Right here, Amazon stock earning, earnings are dropping, the projected earnings, that is, together exactly with the stock price. You show me this for a few quarters, and I will fully agree with you. Until then, that is if Elon Musk says, uh, yeah, I can't, I, I don't know. Then I will change my mind. But until then, I don't see th this with Tesla stock. What I see here is one of the biggest buying opportunities, perhaps of a lifetime, and it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger again. Elon has said that Tesla is executing better than 
ever. But another argument that I would present is, look, Elon Musk has been running SpaceX and Tesla, two gigantic companies at the same time, for so many years now. And also Neuralink and Boring, but these are small companies in relative terms. So don't you think that during this whole time, he has gotten smarter and more experienced and also built large teams that respect him and trust him, that have learned from Elon a lot, so he doesn't need as much time as before to be as effective as he was before? Do you think that could also be the case? Also, remember that Elon Musk will add 304 million shares of Tesla to his total holdings because of a CEO performance award. That's a total of 700 million shares. So if I just round things up, assume that he has 700 million shares and let's just say $150 per share stock price, that's over $100 billion. Don't you think that Elon has a huge financial interest long term to make sure that Tesla is going to do just fine long term? I'm not talking about short term. I don't think Elon Musk cares too, too much about short term price of Tesla. Long term, I'm sure he does because he wants to fund trips to Mars. That money has to come from somewhere. So think about this. Who do you think is the most qualified to pick the next CEO? Give me any other person who is more qualified to pick the next CEO better than Elon Musk. And who has also just as big of a financial interest as Elon Musk in the long-term well-being of Tesla. Tell me who. Tell me who has more, much more shares than Elon Musk. And don't, don't give me names where someone is interested how Tesla stock is going to do, do next year or next three years because they have maybe a fund that they have to make sure the fund performs. That's, uh, I understand those implications. Um, and I respect these people. I understand where they are coming from. But I, I am a long-term investor with a horizon to keep Tesla stock until at least the end of 2030. I don't care what the stock price is going to do next year and in 2024 and 25 and 26 and 27. I sort of care where it is going to be at, in 2030, but likely I will keep Tesla stock for much longer than that. And also, I do not have any leverage. I'm not using any leverage to buy Tesla stock. So I, I really have no incentive to artificially prop up the stock price short term at an expense of the stock price in 2030. I have zero interest in that. Now, I understand there are many people that want Tesla stock to go up next year or right now. I'm not one of those people. I am buying Tesla stock. I am accumulating. So I'm happy that it is at low prices currently. If nominating a new board member makes everyone feel better about Tesla and we can keep Elon this way without strong calls to oust Elon from Tesla, perhaps that would not be a very bad idea after all. Uh, there are eight members on the board. So if you add one more or, or if you replace just one, if you remember, Larry Ellison was on the board as well and he did not get replaced. So we could maybe just add one more um, member to the board. And if that makes all of the retail uh, Tesla stock investors happier because they feel like there is someone uh, who does want a buyback, but and uh, and that is clearly addressed on the board, um, then perhaps everyone would not be pushing so hard for the stock buyback if, for example, let's say Gary was on the board and he himself all of a sudden now says, oh, you know, guys, what? Maybe no stock buyback right now. If he changes his position immediately, then it would be so obvious that 
Tesla is planning to do something that maybe we don't know about yet. And if it's just one person added to the board, it would make it nine people. So one person, how much power, how much more influence would that person have on Tesla as a company? Probably not much. Some, but not much. So as a Tesla stock investor, if we add or not add another board member, I am okay. But I don't want Dilo Musk to be replaced as the CEO. That I am against. And these are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla like in my stock portfolio. My name is Matt Post. Just like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.